on behalf of the University of Strathclyde, I would like to welcome you to the Barony Hall for this congregation for the conferment of degrees. This is a day of celebration for you, our graduates, our families, our friends, and the staff of the university. These events are sometimes known as commencement ceremonies, as it's a signal that they mark a beginning rather than the end. And it's in this spirit that we celebrate graduations at Strathclyde. In a few moments, it will be my privilege to cap every graduand. The capping ceremony has got ancient roots as a public rite of passage and a mark of achievement. And for each of our graduands, it's a sign that they are part of a proud tradition of world-changing scholars at Strathclyde stretching back to the Scottish Enlightenment. Now, this is a formal ceremony, but it's also a celebration. And I do hope that you'll feel free to make a little bit of noise now again when you're when your child or your friends come up to the stage. So I hope you enjoy the ceremony. I now declare this congregation open and I invite Professor Deepak Utan Chandani to introduce our students. Associate Principal, in the name of the university and by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students. For the degree of Doctor of Engineering for research in the Department of Design, Manufacture and Engineering Management, David Alexander Peter Patterson. <laughs> for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for research in the Department of Architecture, Kaid Seeger Kleep Al Sarafi. <laughs> Jamil Farid Hijazi. <laughs> Madalena Ioveni. <laughs> Neda Purang. For research in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Alessia Amabele. <laughs> Brunella Balzano. <laughs> Stuart Fraser Beatty. <laughs> Ross Martin Donaldson. <laughs> Neele Gulyus. <laughs> Ricardo Madalena. <laughs> Nicola Ann Macy. Ariana Gia Pagano. <laughs> For research in the Department of Design, Manufacture and Engineering Management, Tiffany Sofiana Imron. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Urban Design, Heather Manson Claridge. In Civil Engineering, Humza Eftkar Din. In Civil Engineering with Industrial Placement with Geotechnical Engineering and Project Management, Graham Mitchell. In Civil Engineering with Industrial Placement with Structural Engineering and Project Management, Nayef Talal Al-Hadid. Shona Katrine Black. <laughs> Sumbai Kapina. <laughs> Patharapong Superanon.
in civil engineering with industrial placement with water engineering and project management, Neha Rajkumar Jadav. In global innovation management, Lars Densky. Raphael Julian Schmidt. For the degree of Master of Architecture in Advanced Architectural Design, Sean Fitzpatrick. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Adil Hamed. <laughs> Kayser Ashfaq. Rohan Alexander Boyce Bates. <laughs> Kali Catherine Bradbury. <laughs> Stuart Andrew Brown. <laughs> David Conlon. Kevin Dorward. <laughs> Callum Neil Fraser. <laughs> James Gallagher. <laughs> Craig Hamilton. Gary James Hines. <laughs> Hayden Harry Jameson. <laughs> Nico Ionidis. <laughs> Thomas Hugh Johnston. Michael Hugh Lockery Kerr. <laughs> Sajad Khan. <laughs> Rabinder Singh Kooner. <laughs> Gavin Alistair Little. Ewan James McGarvey. <laughs> Jonathan McLeod. <laughs> Daniel Maver. <laughs> Natalie McKenna Moore. Irene Maria Quintero Fernandez. Aaron Stewart. Ruth Hannah Taylor. In Civil and Environmental Engineering, Ismail Hamed. Liam Sean Berry. <laughs> Colin Michael Campbell. <laughs> Robert Halleron. <laughs> Annie Erica Christina Johansson. Shaila Hauser. <laughs> Ross Lyon. <laughs> Mirza Murtich. <laughs> Mo
Lucy Yvonne Nicol. Craig Alexander Robertson. Job Augustin van der Werf. Antonis Zaukoda. In Product Design Engineering, Jade Alexander. Kyle Anderson. Ryan Blacklaws. Christopher Stewart John Carlin. Duncan Ralston Carswell. Annie Clinton. Jules Jean Robert de Jacques. David Drain. Frida Bull Jetson. Rachel Halliday. Ewan William Hamilton. Cameron David Hunter. Erin Lockery. Struan Alistair McBride. Callum Alexander McLeod. Ewan Maser Law. Michael Miller. Cameron Michael Mitchell. Kyle O'Callaghan. Daniel Thomas Parrott. Campbell Pugsley. Frida Ragnar. Sean Anthony Russell. Jack Lindsay Sim. Ruan Swart. Melanie Elizabeth Thompson. Sam Yates. In sports engineering, Thomas Paul Buckley. Andrew Alexander Edgar. James Angus Laird. Kate Ann Hamilton Murdoch. Sam Rayside. Andrew Norman Sangster. Finlay Simpson. In Production Engineering and Management, Julia Beverino.
Ta Ho Cheng. Callum Alexander Mackay. James Andrew Mills. Danny O'Malley. For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Hamid Hussein. Christopher Miller. Mazoon Mohammed Mubarak Al Aremi. Callum Edwin Hurst. Jonathan James Stewart King. Paul Lynch. Jamie McMurkey. Fraser Grant Spence. Brian Thompson. Connor Cameron Gordon. In Civil and Environmental Engineering, Wa'ad Abdullah Khalifa Al Hajri. Ignas Jaxtis. <laughs> Mohammed Abdallah Kasim Javid. <laughs> Hassan Jodat Kabi. <laughs> Scott Kennedy. Andrew McLeod. Rory Wilson Gordon Shepherd. Aidan Neve Milburn. In Product Design Engineering, Raquel Sequoia Gage. Livia Robertson. Mark Alexander. Andrew Stewart Barclay. Alexander John Bryce. Yevgenia Burbo. Jack Thomas Dyer. Shona Helen Ferguson. Callum Fleming. Ryan James Gallagher. Ryan McBrearty. Brody McCulloch. Jack Thomas McClellan. Marcus Malcolm Silver McLeod. Mark Smith. Claire Louise Bryan.
in sports engineering, Alistair William Campbell Brunton. Mark McGrory. Sean McRae. Thomas Blair Nimmo. Jack Wilson. Matthew John McBride. In Production Engineering and Management, Dana Marie Lees. Callum Morrison. Sophie Phillips. Ellis Blaine White. Peter James Lillyman. Martin Matthews. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Architectural Studies, Alice Backman. Harley Borwell. Maria Clara Gutowska. Athanasios Christos Paparis. Laura Alexandra Popa. Samantha Jane Russell. Nicola Wilson. Liam Byrne. Monica Nikolaeva Dimitrova. Hilmi Diaryev Zamzov. Jacob Victor Durs. Jody Glennon. Gemma Goodwin. Joanna Elizabeth Heath. Kieran McCallion. Jamie Stewart McCallum. Boris Milanov. Russell Muir. Nicola O'Donnell. Panayotis Panayotu. James Pendleton. Nikolaos Saradokakis. Kirsty Allison Sharples. Michelle Ann. Shelley Rachel Crawford. Jordan Davidson. Yeah. 
Asya Alte Dunan. Achal Javed. Renee Sung. Jordan Walker. Michael Evans. Sarah Nasir. In Architectural Studies with International Study, Dua Akub. Lara Bandoni. David Campbell. Colm Donnelly. Nicholas Hubin. Natalia Malechka. David Moffat. Holly Pender. Denitsa Velikova. Marielle Sophia Wallen. Hugo Rafael Damota Silva. Valentin Gluchev. Theodor Michal Adrika. Harry Lindsay. Jonathan James Powell. Dragos Suitsu. Jonathan Robert Walsh. Antonios Manginas. In Product Design and Innovation, Alan Eyre. Holly Camilla Dixon. David Bernard Kenworthy. Daniel McDonald. Christopher Gervasio Moody. Rachel Monroe. Bethany Sarah Ripley. Zoe Rosie Stark. Alex Taylor. Neve Kate Robertson Arthur. Ruri Beckwith. Blair Burnett. Holly Campbell. <laughs> Megan Caroline Clancy. <laughs> Jim.
Juliet Felicity Faro. William Ross Findlay. Barry Gordon. Andrew Gurley. Hao Liu. Simona Manasieva. Joseph Morkin. David Nicol. Andrea Papayonu. Anna Klein. Callum Neil Robertson. Scott Watson. Marcus Yo Chai Peng. Tianju Zhang. For the degree of architectural studies, Richard Michaelis. So ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, but most of all, our graduates, it's a real pleasure to welcome you here to the Barony Hall, one of the jewels in Strathclyde's crown. I would like to begin my address today by congratulating our graduates once again on your academic achievements. Your hard work has paid off and has been recognized in front of your families, your friends, and the staff who taught and supported you here during your time here. We know just how much work you've put in to be here today and you can all feel justifiably proud. The great American athlete, Jesse Owens, once said, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. And all of you here today have displayed determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. All of you have taken a huge step towards realizing your dreams, and today, in these magnificent surroundings, we celebrate your achievements. Now, in just a few minutes' time, you will be asked to join the academic procession as it makes its way along the aisle. This inv invitation symbolizes the fact that you are no longer students, but full members of the academic community at Strathclyde. It is an important moment for you all. The class of 2018 is graduating at a time of considerable global change in Scotland, in the UK, and internationally. But there is no question that challenges lie ahead again for all of us. But as a member of the Strathclyde family, you belong to a large and ever-growing worldwide community which shares an ethos of tolerance and understanding and a desire to make a positive difference. So whatever dreams you're pursuing in life, remember that you possess the most valuable assets that anybody can have in today's world. Knowledge, the ability to innovate, and the capacity to use your talents for the good of society. 
As graduates of a socially progressive university, you have a competitive advantage, having been equipped with the skills, the know-how, and the life experiences to positively influence the shape of the world around you. In Scotland, we're fortunate in having a higher education system, which is the envy of the world. Our country rightly invests in education for all. Education broadens the mind and creates opportunities for individuals and societies. As Strathclyders, we carry a sense of duty to use what we've learned wisely and for the good of others. The desire to make a positive impact on the world comes naturally to graduates at this university. We only have to look to the achievements of those who've gone before us for inspiration. To John Anderson, our founder, who established this university for the good of mankind. To George Birkbeck, who introduced free classes on mechanics for Glasgow's tradesmen. To the world's first oil man, James Paraffin Young to the missionary and explorer, David Livingston, to John Logie Baird and Lord Reith, whose work in television brought us visual marvels that they could hardly have dreamed of. In the present day, we look to Dame Ailish Angelini, a pioneer in Scottish justice as the country's first female Solicitor General and later its first female Lord Advocate. And to Sir Tom Hunter, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Scottish history, and a philanthropist who's used his wealth to the great benefit of others. Now, I'm sure that you will have received lots of advice on how to make the best of your lives, and some we, you will rightly ignore, some will stick with you, but most you'll have to learn for yourself. Robert Louis Stevenson put it well when he said, don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Maybe I could add to that. This is a, a real staging post for you, getting a degree. But what you must never do is to stop learning. We can all learn at all stages of our life. To reach this point in your lives today, each one of you will have traveled a different journey. For some, the path will have been relatively easy, for others more difficult. But I am certain of one thing. None of you would be here with it, the, without the active support of your family and friends. They've picked you up when you've been down, they've encouraged you when you needed it, and they're here to support you once again today. Proudly watching, as you cross the stage with broad smiles and the odd tear in their eye. They're celebrating today not just because you're almost off the payroll, <laughs> but because you also carry with you their hopes and dreams, and their confidence that you can make this a better world. Now for the past half hour or so, their applause has rung in your ears, and I'd like to invite our graduates now to show their appreciation for the support of their family and friends. Now, we will actively keep in touch with you through our alumni and communications teams, and I would ask you, too, to please keep in touch with us. We would love to hear about your achievements as you progress through your lives and careers, and we look forward to hearing you from you again. The advice and guidance given by our alumni helped to provide the first-class education and student experience you all had at Strathclyde, and I now ask that you think of those who will follow in your footsteps. Now, I touched earlier on some of the key figures who've helped to create the University of Strathclyde. You can tell a lot about the values of an organization by looking at its roots. Strathclyde traces its lineage back to 1796, when Anderson brought it into being, in fact, the only Scottish university founded in the Enlightenment, and embodying Enlightenment principles of reason, tolerance, and equality. Anderson believed in useful learning, and his commitment to taking knowledge and using it for the greater good is the motivating force which gives Strathclyde its momentum today. It can be seen in the Business School, which was named the Business School of the Year in the prestigious UK-wide Times Higher Education Awards in 2016. It can be seen in our Advanced Forming Research Centre, which sets new designs, uh, new standards in design and manufacturing, and which has more than doubled in size to meet industry demand. It can be seen in our £89 million Technology and Innovation Centre, which is transforming the way academics collaborate with business, industry and the public sector to bring global competitive advantage to Scotland. The TIC, as it's fondly known, is a tangible sign of the university's commitment to world-class research 
and to ensuring outcomes that have maximum benefit to society and the economy. Now, these represent a small sample of the many innovative projects and initiatives led by our world-class academic colleagues and our professional service colleagues. They're taking our new knowledge and using it to solve problems in, in industry, in the classroom, and in boardrooms. And I'm especially pleased that we're developing our campus to enable us to do even more. Our business school's flagship building has been transformed with a 23 million pound investment. Work is underway on a 60 million pound teaching and learning hub. And our new 31 million pound Strathclyde sports building will be open for the new semester. All in all, we're investing 650 million pounds in our estate over a decade. And it's also been a, a wonderful year to celebrate for the Faculty of Engineering. Dr. Christopher Lowe and Dr. Stephen Owens from the Department of Manic Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering won the prestigious Copernicus Masters University Challenge Prize for their innovative use of Earth observation and satellite navigation data. Their project is developing a route planning application for mountain bikers. Strathclyde signed a deal with US firm Hubble Lighting to license its high-intensity narrow-spectrum light technology. This HINS light can suppress bacteria in the air and on surfaces and is a huge step forward in preventing the spread of infections. The university hosted the International Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers 5G Summit last month. And Strathclyde is a principal partner in the 5G Rural First, a project between industry, academia and government aimed at improving digital connectivity in remote areas. In June last year, the First Minister announced Strathclyde will run a new 8.9 million pound lightweight manufacturing center. Making the announcement at the AFRC, Nicholas Sturgeon said it was the first step to creating a 65 million pound National Manufacturing Institute for Scotland with, Scott, Scott, with Strathclyde as the anchor university. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a transformative proposal which is really going to change the way the co global com competitiveness of Scottish manufacturing industry. And finally, we're not just busy here on the planet. In fact, our colleague Malcolm MacDonald, the, the director of the Scottish Centre of Excellence in Satellite Applications at the University of Strathclyde, has been appointed a non-executive member of the UK Space Agency's steering board, and who knows, we might get a, finally a Strathclyder in space. So, this is why our graduates are so highly prized by companies looking to recruit the best talent to drive their businesses forward. This is why world-class companies such as Rolls-Royce, GSK and Boeing are investing in Strathclyde. This is why we are leading research in energy, health, manufacturing and technology. Now that success is in no small part due to the collective talent, effort and commitment of our staff. The 3,200 colleagues who are pulling together to, develop, to deliver one vision, a leading international technological university. Like me, they're very proud of your achievements. I know that the class of 2018 will demonstrate the power of useful learning. I know you will make your dreams a reality, and I know you will make a difference to the world in which we live. So thank you very much. So I will now declare this congregation closed for the conferment of degrees. I would like to invite our graduates to join the academic procession and would family and friends please stay behind until after the procession but then join us in the Lord Todd for refreshments and I'm glad to say it's a wonderful beautiful Scottish afternoon outside so let's enjoy the sunshine. Thank you. Please be upstanding. <laughs>